Hello, welcome back to another grocery haul. I had to think then what, <laughs> what I was sharing with you. <laughs> it's a grocery haul. Um, it's my restock grocery haul where I get the things. I wait till like the end of the month. So although it's the middle of the month for most people, for me, it's a start of payday. So I like to get things that will see me through for a few weeks. So I kind of like to stock up on like bigger items. Um, so I've been to Sainsbury's and I spent £80. I also quickly popped into Aldi to get like four items for tomorrow's dinner, but I need to go back to Aldi on Monday. So I'll have an Aldi haul and I'll put it together with this one and have one gigantic restock haul to share with you on the same video. So £80 at Sainsbury's, £2 for the Innocent Smoothies. I'm on a deal at the moment, really good price for those. So I got a four pack. I also got a four pack of Orangina. Hope you'll take this to work. I got quite a few drinks here, you can see. I got a 24 pack of lemon Fanta. I think this was like 7.50, which we thought was a decent enough price. So we'll stick that in the garage. Two bottles of Coke. They are, oops, sorry, they are £2.25, same price at Aldi. So I picked up two of those for us. And then this gigantic bottle of Robinson's double strength orange squash. So this was only £2 on some kind of special offer. And it's 1.75 litres and it is the double strength. So you don't need too much when you add it to water. And I just think that's a really good price. So got some of that for us as well. I also got some Monster Munch. I picked up the pickled onion flavour six pack. We have heard so many, um, like we've watched so many social media content. We've heard so many good reviews about kombucha and we've never tried it. So I picked up two bottles to give it a try. I didn't realise just how like... In terms of health benefits, how good it is for you, it is really, really good. So we got the Orange and Mango Limited Edition. They're 170 currently at Sainsbury's. Well, this brand is anyway. I'm sure they're quite expensive in other places. But this particular brand, I think it was like a store promotion, like an introductory offer. So we got the Orange and Mango and, oh, banging. And we also got some cola as well. So we'll give those a try. And then Hubby likes this Yuzu citrus ramoon drink he loves these so it's got like a marble in the top push it down and it like fizzes the drink so we've got one of those for him i also picked up some giant couscous i could not find <laughs> i could not find couscous for the life of me i asked two um, staff members who work there which aisles it was they both said different aisles you'd think it would be where the rice is and the pasta but it wasn't <laughs> we were up and down the aisles looking for it and it's near where they like fajita mixes um, and they have like tin tuna and stuff near it so that's where it is in Sainsbury's if you're interested <laughs> they do like a normal size couscous and then a giant couscous and I want to make a Mediterranean couscous like um, Moroccan sorry not Mediterranean Moroccan inspired couscous Couscous. So I picked up a bag of that to cook this weekend. Hubby fancied the look of these. So we got some of these for him. It's the strawberry and clotted cream cheesecake. You do get two. So I'm just going to take the second one, I think. But they look and sound delicious. So we picked up one of those. Two bags of pasta. We liked the short tubes of these. So we've used rigatoni, like, actually, we use it quite often. I don't have it anymore, but my husband does. Um, and I've never seen it like this tiny size. So we thought this would be perfect for his carbonara that he makes these are two pound a bag for the taste of difference and they're just called mezzi rigatoni the small ones so we got two of those for him just to keep a stock of in the cupboard and then i spotted this i don't know if it's a new thing but i saw it on like one of the side aisles and it's apple and herb stuffing mix and i just thought that sounded delicious so next time i'm going for like sunday lunch at my mum's house I'll take one of these and we can have a nice apple and herb stuffing. So I got one of those. I also picked up a bag of rice. They had these on for a pound. They're new products that were on like an introductory offer. It's the Tilda Sticky Rice. And we'll have ours with, we've got some barrel buns in the freezer. I've also got some chicken and veg gyozas from Costco still in the freezer. So we'll have probably this with that. Um, and yeah, it was a pound. So I picked up a bag of that. I also got some of these um, like Sainsbury's brand cheap cereal. 
because the cereal dispensers are completely out, we've got hardly anything left, but we're not really eating cereal. I didn't want to buy the expensive brands, so I just got the cheap honey hooplers, and I think they're the knockoff of Cheerios, but they were 99p for a box, so I was happy with that price. Today is Eurovision. So we're going to watch it. We're really excited for the finals. Um, I've actually not seen the UK's act. I've not been watching any of the semi-finals or anything, but I'm going to watch the finals literally in the next 10 minutes once I've filmed this. Um, so I picked up this for tonight because we're staying in tonight. We're not going out. We've had a long day visiting like friends and family. We went for lunch as well and it was lovely, but it's nice just to get home, get a cup of tea, have a slice of cake, fizzy pop, treats whatever and stick eurovision on so that's the plan for tonight and this was three pound fifty and it's a raspberry ripple cake and i've never had it before so we've had a merry berry cake product before and it was so delicious but we've not had this one it looks so good so i've got that for tonight i also got a six pack of monster munch i got some bread i got this french baguette stick thing um i picked up some grapes i accidentally dropped these grapes and the like lid thing came off but not in the store this was my fault so i brought these home with me they are gigantic so so big um and then these were on a special offer they were three pound for six muller corners in strawberry and peach apricot so i got six of those I got a gigantic block of cheddar cheese. This will last us a good couple of weeks at least. We'll be able to shred this in half and slice it up as well so I can food prep that big block. Some of this um, parmesan for my husband's carbonara. I got two juices. I got an orange and mango juice and a smooth orange juice. I was looking for clementine, but they don't seem to stock it at Sainsbury's. So I just picked up this, but I think, I think I've had this one before actually, and it was delicious. And that one will just be fine anyway, it's just orange juice. I also got a lime, I got some chickpeas to go with my couscous, and I got some flat leaf parsley for the carbonara. Heading off over here, I picked up some spring onions from Sainsbury's and a cucumber from Sainsbury's and I also got some tomatoes from Aldi. I will be going back on Monday. Well, Monday or Tuesday, I'll see how my week looks, but I'll be definitely going back in the next couple of days to get some actual dinner stuff because none of this is like dinner stuff. It's just things we needed. Um, so vine tomatoes from Aldi. And then I also got some of this Billy Bear. I can't stand this, it's so disgusting, but my hubby really likes it. So <laughs> picked up a slice of a pack of that for him. And then I also got some of this Gouda slices as well for cheese. I love this stuff. So I got a pack of that. This is the other bag of pasta. I got some bananas from Aldi. And then I picked up these from Sainsbury's. So the Go Ahead bars, they're just the fruit and oat bakes in strawberry flavour. They were a pound and you get six of them. And these are from Aldi. These were a pound. They're just fruit gems, little packs of fruits strawberry orange and apple and i think hubby will have these for work from aldi i also picked up two boxes of these these are so delicious in the air fry they go really crispy and they're actually quite a nice mac and cheese inside so i got two of those from the freezer section they're like a pound each and then i also just moved my baguette oh i did pick up some flowers as well just for my vase but i also picked up from sainsbury's some um bacon just a 16 pack so that is two lots and from Aldi I picked up some minted lamb kebabs I thought these sounded and looked delicious and I got some of these which are a new product they had quite a lot of new products in Aldi in the fresh like section so I'm going to go back and film a video in there I think because there was loads of new like food items which I've not seen before um so I got these smoky beef kebabs with mozzarella and Italian herbs and we're going to have those for dinner on Tuesday so picked up that I can also if I make my couscous I can have the couscous with that and that'll be a nice dinner. So got those, picked up these for the couscous. I thought I was getting sultanas and cranberries and I ended up with raisins, which is fine. I'll just use raisins instead. So I got those for the couscous. And then I got three bags of Sainsbury's of the pop chips sea salt because these will be a stock up item. They're really hard to find in most places and I absolutely love them. So I got three bags of those. So that is the end of the Sainsbury's. Up next is Aldi. Okay, so the other part of the grocery haul from Sainsbury's is the Aldi shop. So I went to an Aldi um, different today because I went to Coventry to find 
the biggest home bargains, according to some articles. <laughs> so I went on a bit of a little scavenger hunt to home bargains and did a bit of a filming in there. So I actually popped into Audi on the way back and did the rest of my grocery haul, grocery shop, sorry. There is some new products here. I'm going to do a separate video. I'll obviously share them now, but I'm going to do a separate video of just new items that I've actually brought because I seem to have brought a lot of new food products from Audi and they're really pushing like the summer barbecue and sides and things like that. So I'll do that shortly. But for now, let me just share with you the rest of this month's food shop. So it takes a total, including... Sainsbury's on Saturday and a little bit of Aldi on Saturday and a Tesco yesterday, just a tiny bit. It takes a total to £200 for a restock for the month. So let me share with you the things I have picked up. Some of them are for recipes for over the next few days. That will be for a video shortly as well. Um, I've got lots of content lined up. <laughs> and I better crack on because we are, you know, heading right in through the, to May. And I have to go to Costco and film Costco at the end of May as well. So busy, busy. Let me show you the things that I have brought. So tortilla wraps. I just got an eight pack of those. I actually brought the little ones as well. Um, here we go. Just the mini ones because this one is for a recipe. But these, we prefer the smaller ones um, just because we like add a bit of chicken to them, a bit of like side salad and then roll them up. And they're quite nice and just handy as like little pockets pocket wraps so I got some of those and then the big ones I also picked up two bags of pasta just a restock item it'll go in the cupboard until hubby wants to use it I don't have pasta anymore but he likes this one so I got two bags of the rigatoni I actually really like the pasta in the cardboard packaging it just tastes a bit nicer than the, like their cheap pasta um, and it's not too bad in price it's 99p so two bags of those I also picked up for my husband some honey roasted peanuts. He's been on about these for ages and I keep forgetting. And I saw them today just near the till, like near the snack bit. So I grabbed these for him. I got six eggs as well, just to have in the house for the week. I got a rainbow salad because this has got five days on until the 19th of May. It's the 14th today. I think it's the 14th. Maybe it's the 15th. It's Monday. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has got like a few days on it. So I'm going to have this on Wednesday. I think it will be fine and last until then for dinner. I also got two packs of the ibuprofen. There's another box over there. I got some spinach for recipe. I got some red onions for a recipe as well. Just a three trio pack there. And a pack of baby bells for snacking for it in the fridge. I also got some peppers. I'm, not, I'm going to stop saying for a recipe because I'm going to guess that that's really annoying. <laughs> but I got some sweet mini peppers, which I'll slice up. I also got some Parmesan cheese. We did buy it from Sainsbury's, but it's £2.05 from Aldi. And when I go and do a bit of a restock shop, you know, I might as well pick up a block there. So I got one of those because we'll definitely use it this month. And I also got some ham. I've never bought this before. This is the German Brunswick ham, but I want to do something with this. I'm not going to say the R word, but I want to do something with this coming up on the channel. So that is for that. I got some coriander as well and a pack of bananas. We've had no fruit in the house for four days except for a bunch of bananas. But hubby takes them to football on a Sunday when he plays football. So there was just two left. So I needed to get some fruit. Um, I've got some grapes in the fridge, but I did pick up a few more bits, which actually, let me pull those out for you. So these are from Tesco, which I got yesterday. So I got six pack of the Pink Ladies, which will just go in that bowl there. Another pack of the red grapes. I've got a few grapes left from Sainsbury's, but not too many. So that will join the fruit there. I also picked up one of these sea salt Belgian chocolate ganaches. They are new. I'm excited to try those. I got a pasta sauce, which I'm going to add a ton of other ingredients to as part of a meal that I'm cooking. So I just picked up the cheap one. It was 47p. I also got a block of halloumi as well. And then I got some caramelised red onion and red Leicester beef burgers. I also got some of these quarter pandas. These are frozen, but we brought these last time I did a Aldi versus Waitrose food shop. And these were so much nicer than Waitrose, which kind of shocked me because I do like the Waitrose ones. And they do work out cheaper if you have to buy four. But these were really tasty. So I picked up a box of these again. They're less than £2 for two. I also got some courgettes that I'm going to be cooking with. I picked up some churros. They're new with the sugar and chocolate hazelnut like dipping sauce. They're just for the freezer. 
I got one of these chilled potato gratin boxes. I've never bought this before, but I saw it and thought I'd give it a try. So I picked myself up one of those and this is the ibuprofen and I got some ginger and spring onion chicken koftas because I thought they sounded delicious. So some little kebabs. We can also do some halloumi kebabs as well. I got some strawberries. They looked so big and inviting. I thought I'd get a punny of those. And a teriyaki sauce as well. I also picked up a hoisin sauce because hubby likes this. So just to keep on hand in case we run out. And then I got some flapjacks as well, just a four pack. In fact, I bought two packs of the flapjacks because once some cakes are done, I'll put them under my dome on the kitchen island. So four flat flapjacks <laughs> can't say that four flapjacks twice <laughs> goodness i need to stop today it's been a long day lots of driving clearly i need to go back to bed um so i also picked up this we don't need any i brought some from sainsbury's but this all like this is a bit of a restock for until the middle of june so we'll definitely use it before the middle of june so i got some of this smoked streaky bacon I, we like this like pack with the 16 rashes because you get tons and it does quite a few meals if you like add it to meals if you just did a bacon sandwich it wouldn't go very far <laughs> i also got some more um piccolo piccolo is that how you say that basically vine tomatoes i brought some on saturday brought some more today a great big bag of mozzarella cheese i've not brought grated mozzarella for ages and one of the things i'm doing requires mozzarella so i picked up some of that the ribena is from tesco along with the apples the flapjack slices, the Ribena was on offer as well. I'll put the price on the screen for that if I can get it off my receipt because it was a really good price. Um, these are the flapjacks for under the cake dome, a block of the Red Leicester cheese, just to stick in the cupboard. Some of these rosemary and rock salt rolls. Now these were so delicious last time I brought them. I got them two weeks ago. So, so tasty. So I got some more for lunches. I also oh, I bought the wrong ones. Uh-oh. <laughs> I picked up the gastro chicken thigh burgers. Um, but I thought I was getting the buttermilk ones. I tell you, it's because I'm in such a flummox today, <laughs> rushing around. So Hubby's going to have to get... I might call him after work, actually, and see if he can pop in. Actually, it's fine. The ne over the next few days, we're not going to use them anyway. So the for the freezer. So these are, he'll probably have these. I can't have these because they're hot. But I thought I was getting the buttermilk chicken thigh burgers. And obviously, I've picked up the wrong ones. But he saw these on TikTok and he said they're really nice. So we thought we'd give them a try. So got those. We'll have to go back and get the buttermilk ones. I picked up two boxes of the fruit and grain. I got some strawberry ones the other day and they're just so delicious. I forgot how good they taste. I've never tried the Aldi's Harvest Morn either. So I got the blueberry and the apple because I've already got strawberry in the house. So a nice bit of a stock up here on the Nutrigrain bars or well, the fake Nutrigrain bars. I also got some pesto. I like to keep pesto in the cupboard. So a jar of that, a candle, which I've never brought before. I know like they're the knockoff, like Joe Malone candles. Um, I think this was like one ninety nine. So it's from the hotel collection. The number one, lime, basil and mandarin. Basil or basil, how do you say that? And mandarin. And yeah, I thought that would be nice for our lounge. Um, I got a bottle of Coke. I know I brought two. And, and when we, on Saturday for Eurovision, we literally drank a whole bottle of Coke while we were <laughs> eating our dinner, watching Eurovision. We were like, okay, we need to stop drinking fizzy pop. Um, but I've got this because it will restock me until the middle of June. So that's going to go in the garage. Also, Mars bars. I walked past these. I went hungry. Never go shopping when you're hungry. That's what they tell you. And there's a reason for it. Um, and I saw these and I was like, oh, I'll have the one in the car because I was so hungry. And I forgot I had them in the boot again. So I brought those home with me. I picked up some strawberry conserve jam. I got some British creme fraiche for, um, I'm going to do pork meatballs. I'm basically copying a HelloFresh meal, which I did a few weeks ago, and it was so delicious. It's like creme fraiche, chicken stock, um, pork mince with breadcrumbs to like make your meatballs, and like salt and pepper into the creme fraiche. You make kind of like a little gravy sauce. Stick it on with some green beans and some chips, and it is so delicious. So I brought some of that to recreate that. I got some spring greens, some sausages for something I'm doing, some potatoes for something I'm doing, some red onions. I got a pack of three. I think I've done the pasta. 
some of these Spanish style potatoes with rainbow veg. I thought these sounded delicious. It's a freezer item as well, so they can go straight in the freezer. Puff pastry for something I'm making. And the last thing I think is this pork mince, the 5%, and that's for the meatballs. The only other things I picked up are, well, I've been chain bargains, so there's a whole coming up there, but the only things I picked up to share with you from Aldi is this hot cloth cleanser. I actually brought two. So everyone's raved about this for a few years and I've never found it ever. And today in Aldi, they must have restocked the shelf because there was loads of them. So I brought two home, one for myself and then one for my two sisters. So I've got two sisters that still live at home and I thought they would, actually I've got three sisters that still live at home, but one's an adult. Um, so I thought my two younger sisters could share the bottle of cleanser here and then uh, from the hot cloth in this pack i'll give that to my other sister because the other ones over here really really good price like loads cheaper than the like branded one i think is it liz earl it's meant to be like a copycat of um and yeah they come with a cloth so i've got plenty of cloths upstairs so i'll give one cleanser to my sisters with two cloths and they can have a cloth each and then i'll have a cleanser as well so hopefully they are decent enough because it's a lot of i think it's like two pound i think they're two pound i'm not sure i'll have to have a look on the prices and whack it on the screen for you but liz earl is very expensive so hopefully these do us good i'll report back on my next Aldi shop if they're any good or not and then I also picked up some baby spinach and I got some milk as well so that is my entire food shop for this week and for next week I won't be going back next week with the stuff we've got here there's only one thing I need to go and get next week which will be just fresh fruit for myself because I really enjoy that um, and maybe some bread and milk but it won't be a big shop next week the week after might have to get a few more things but there's a lot of stuff in here that is going straight in the freezer so we can just kind of keep on top of all of that and make sure we've got plenty of food in our house ready for the month so yeah that's the food shop I'm going to stop waffling thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I brought this month take care and I will see you on the next video bye